Hi, it's Tim Keeley, physiotherapist from physiorehab.com, and today I'm going to show you what you should be doing when you're doing McKenzie side glides for a lumbar disc bulge that is lateral. So if you've been diagnosed with a lateral sort of side lumbar disc bulge, maybe you've got pain going off to one side from your lower back, maybe it's down your buttock, maybe it's down your leg, or you're shifted, I'm going to show you what you should be doing. If you've been given these side glides exercises to help correct that and improve your symptoms, Got some tips and tricks for you. So, firstly, most people who've got this is most people who've got a disc bulge. So that's, let's say it's on the right. So if you've got a disc bulge that's on the right and the pain's on the right, most of the time they're going to be shifted off to the left. Okay. So we're going to try and correct that. We're going to do that with some side glides against the wall, trying to work on that. We're also going to teach you what to do side glides at stands in standing. If you don't have a wall, you need to do it at work to do it at workbench or if you're at the kitchen bench. Plus, if you're getting stuck and the pain's on the opposite side of the shift, I'm gonna show you what to do with some side glides again, but going the other way around. So firstly, let's look at if you're doing side glides against the wall. Now these are generally to try and correct the shift if it's what we call a contralateral shift. So if you've got pain on one side and the disc bulge on one side and you're shifted away from that, this is also people who aren't shifted who've got pain on one side. Just remember, if the disc bulge is out of the side and your extensions, either standing or on the ground, are not working or not working fast enough, you can introduce this lateral component and some of you are doing that. So, if you're against the wall, what you need to be is on the side that is opposite to the pain to start with. So if you are shifted away from the painful side, you put that side against the wall, if you can remember that. So painful sides away. This is for traditional sort of contralateral disc bulge. So, or pain. So from that position, I don't want you to be too close because you're not gonna get much movement. You need to be out a little bit. How much? Probably about three or four foot widths, okay? Or a couple of feet out from the wall. So you feel like you're actually leaning on the wall. I'm actually leaning on this wall. With this arm here, my body's got to go inwards, so I really want that arm out of the way. So you move that arm away and put your elbow there, you can put your hand here, it doesn't matter. What you're aiming to do is be completely straight through here. So don't be sort of bent out with that, okay, so you're not in that flexion position, you want to be in extension position, and you start, because if I'm leaning on the wall, you start almost sort of parallel, okay. Then, with this hand, I like just putting it on the side of the hip to try and guide you. You're slowly going to let that left side, so the opposite side where the pain is, go into the wall. So what you're doing here is side bending to the right. Okay, we call it a side glide because you're actually not just, you're not actually side bending, you're doing a little bit of glide work as there as well. So from here, we're trying to let that hip go towards the wall. So we're gliding into the wall like that, all right, which gives you a compression on that right hand side. Now that you need to stop at the point where that is painful, okay, and then come away. There's no point you going into the pain and trying to cause pain, that's not gonna help. You want to be going either to the pain or just staying away from it. Depends how much, if this thing flares you up or not. So with this one, just think, okay, I'm gonna do repetitions. I'm gonna go to the pain, back away, pause for a couple of seconds, go into, the, into that movement again, go to where that pain is, back away. Now hopefully what this will do is over maybe the second or third set you're starting to get some progress and you feel like it's going in further. So there should be two things that are going to happen if this starts improving. You might have to do this for quite a few you know, times a day and days for it to start improving. As long as you're not getting worse, this is what you want to be aiming for. It's more and more range here, which allows you to then have more and more range that way which you may have not had before. Because people with that pain on that one side may find that they go, oh, they can't get over that side, it hurts on that side. After doing these, you may find that, you know, you get in further and you get further that way. Now that's also got to equate to either less pain in the leg or pain that's not as far down in the leg, so it's actually reduced, say, in the calf or it's here, now it's up to here. Eventually, we want to try and have that pain centralized with this exercise as much as you can, or at least less further away, less referred, more cl closer to from here, closer to here. Okay, so improvements are pain less, pain close to the center, 
more movement, okay? And what that should do is allow you to achieve a bit better result with your extensions, either on the floor or standing, bending backwards, to try and reduce the disc pressure even further. So that's a really nice one to do. Now, if you haven't got a wall, I mean, most people have got a wall, but say you're at work and you need to get up from your desk and you're like, oh, we don't need to do that. The other time is some people don't like the wall. Okay, so this thing they just don't like, the compression side of things. So what you can do is a side glide and stand. Now what you'll need though is something to sort of balance on. So say I've got something like in front of me here, okay. What I need to do, this could also be, if you have a standing desk, you can raise that standing desk up and use that, okay. It could be your kitchen bench that you can put some weight on. What you want to aim for, now if you can sort of, I'll sort of show you here. What you want to aim for is if, again, the same side, if my right hand side is a sore side, I want my, think of like if that was the wall, I want my left hip or my hips going left, okay? But with this one, I really want a full glide because I've got no compression with this. What I don't want to do is just side bend. It's not a side bend, it's a side glide. So hips are going to go left. When my hips go left, I want my right shoulder going right, okay? So this is where it's handy to have something on leaning on because I'm going to go, okay, hips left, shoulder right. And what I'm trying to do is keep my body sort of centered over between my feet. What you might have to do though is try and keep weight on the same side of where the pain is. What people tend to do is they tend to shift away, put their weight over their legs, all my weight's over onto that side, and my body's out over here. What you want to aim for is can I keep my weight either 50-50 or a little bit more on right? So if I put my hands on something, I want to shift my hips to the left and pull my shoulder to the right. And what that's going to do is give me that side glide movement here. So if I, if I show you what I'll be doing, I'll be doing that movement. So I'm actually getting a glide movement here without the compression part of like doing it when I'm side bending. So I'm not sort of crunching down that side. I'm gliding that side. Now what that will do is give you that pressure reduction a little bit on that right hand side of the disc where the pain is, where the bulge is. All right? So that's a really nice one to do is either an alternative to that if you're not loving that one against the wall or one that you're doing, you can do at work when you can just stand up and do a few bits before you sit down again. Okay, or if you've got a standing desk, even more helpful. Okay, so that would be the first two you do side gliders for something with someone with pain on the opposite side. Okay, so meaning pain on the right hand side and then they go in and if you've got pain on the same side you shifted to, so this is for people who have a shift, but if, say for me, if my pain was on the right hand side, but for some reason, instead of being like that, away from the pain, I'm like that, okay? You can try one of two things. The first thing I'd actually try is the same one. Now you may say, well, why is he doing that? Because you can get pain on one side, okay, and the disc bulge, if it's confirmed on MRI, there's no point you going the other way and creating an increase in that bulge. You need to be going to this same side. So the first thing you do is actually go back to here and go in there. Even though the pain's on the, you know, you're tilted that side, you still go into that side to reduce the pain. Okay, so you're going for the pain part of that, not worrying about the shift. Most of the time, when we feel like that, we go for that one first, in the clinic, they do that, and they go, hang on, but I am shifted to that side. They do that, and they actually straighten up because they've reduced the pain, all right? So don't be too worried about which way you're going with that. Go for the pain first. If that doesn't work, we get people to do it around the other way, okay, and correct the shift and see if that pain changes. So what that would do, if the pain was right side, and I'm shifted onto that pain, then my last resort is to then correct the shift manually that way, even though the pain is on the right hand side. So that would be my protocol, is make sure you actually go to the same side of the shift first. If that fails to straighten you up and reduce the pain, you go the other way and do it the other way, but very careful, careful with that. So if these aren't working, that is your side to get in and see the physio, get back, get some manual treatment and some guidance on exactly what you're doing and are you doing those correctly. Hope that helps, see you next time.